welcome to the channel the practical study guys today our topic is how to use psychometric chart we will learn it by simple animated stepwise explanation before moving ahead it is to request you please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can find more interesting videos in future let's start Psychometric chart. Psychometric chart is a graphical representation of the physical and thermodynamic properties of air. Whenever you are going to do air conditioning, then you have to change the properties of air. And if you want to change the properties of air, then you must need to know how to measure the properties of air. So psychometric chart is used to measure the properties of air. Following parameter are seems to be plotted on this chart. Number one, dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, relative humidity, absolute humidity or humidity ratio, dew point temperature, specific volume, enthalpy. We will learn all these parameters one by one and plot it on psychometric chart. This is psychometric chart and I am not going to discuss it right now because, it's, because it seems to be very complex. Let's make it simplest stepwise. First of all, we will discuss dry bulb temperature. It is the normal temperature of air or it can be measured simply by a normal thermometer. For understanding of or better understanding of psychometric chart, two points should be kept in mind. Number one, you need to identify the line that which line represents which parameter and where is the scale of parameter. If you know these two, uh, if you uh, keep in mind these two points, then this chart will be very easy for you. Suppose this is psychometric chart. Let's draw dry bulb temperatures on this chart. This is the scale on horizontal axis or x axis for dry bulb temperature and it increases from left to right. So we find out the scale of the parameter which is on horizontal axis. Now let's draw the lines of dry bulb temperature. These are the lines of dry bulb temperature on psychometric chart. I think dry bulb temperature is clear right now. Let's move to the next parameter. Wet bulb temperature. This is the temperature which is measured by wrapping a wet cloth on thermometer. We have already made a video on this topic. Let's find out its line position and its measuring scale on psychometric chart. This was the scale of dry bulb temperature. These are the lines of wet bulb temperature and here is its scale. So wet bulb temperature lines are as seems to be inclined line around at the angle of 25 to 30 degree. These lines shows the wet bulb temperature line and this scale shows wet bulb measurement scale. Let's move to the next parameter. Humidity ratio or absolute humidity. For example, if you have a 1 gram of air, then how much water is present in 1 gram of air in grams? This humidity ratio. Since in 1 gram of air, the water quantity or water vapors quantity is very much less, so vapors is also made in grain, which is the smallest unit of water vapors quantity. 1 grain is equal to 0 0.065 grams. When you have uh, anything in smallest quantity, then it is better to measure it on smallest scale. Let's draw it on psychometric chart. Humidity ratio scale is on the y-axis on, on vertical axis. Now let's draw its lines. Its lines are horizontal 
towards the wet bulb temperature line. So I think this parameter is, is also clear. Let's move to the next parameter. Relative humidity. Relative humidity is the amount of water vapors in form of percentage. So this is psychometric chart and these are the relative humidity lines and here is its scale. I think this parameter is also clear. Next move to the next parameter. And guys one point uh, need to notice that this is the saturation line where the humidity is 100% that means air is fully saturated air is full of water vapors and there is more there is no more uh, possibility for absorption of more water vapors dew point temperature it is temperature of saturated air what is saturated air for example this is air and when it becomes full of water vapors, then it is called saturated air. So the temperature of saturated air is called dew point temperature. This is the scale of wet bulb temperature and it is also used for dew point temperature uh, scale because this, this scale is drawn on saturation line as you can see that so where the humidity is 100%. So this wet bulb temperature line and saturated line is used to measure the dew point temperature you specifically the dew point temperature lines are seems not to be plotted on the psychometric chart but how can you you find the dew point temperature it's very simple let's suppose this is dry bulb temperature scale this is humidity ratio scale if these two parameters you have no noun then you can easily find out uh, dew point temperature for example you have dry bulb temperature 28 degrees centigrade humidity ratio 0.013 then at the point of intersection you draw a horizontal line towards the wet bulb temperature line in order to find the dew point temperature i hope this is clear let's move to the next parameter specific volume and also enthalpy specific volume and enthalpy we will discuss in single slide specific volume it is the amount of, uh, it is the volume of air in per unit gram of air its unit is meter cube per gram or in other words you can say that if you have one gram of air then what is the volume of one gram of air is specific volume and what is the enthalpy if you have one gram of air then how much heat is present in one gram of air is enthalpy its unit is joule per gram now let's draw these two parameters on psychometric chart as this is wet bulb temperature lines why I have drawn it again because the enthalpy lines are very much similar to uh, wet bulb temperature line but these lines are extended towards the enthalpy scale enthalpy scale is joule per gram now draw the specific volume lines and specific volume scale its scale is 0.80 to 0.95 meter cube per gram now I think guys we have drawn individually all parameters I think it's time to draw a complete psychometric chart suppose this is the psychometric chart first we have drawn the scale of dry bulb temperature then scale of humidity ratio then scale of enthalpy then scale of wet bulb temperature saturation line dew point temperature scale now draw the dry bulb lines now draw the wet bulb lines now draw the humidity ratio lines now draw the relative humidity lines and now draw the enthalpy lines now draw the specific volume lines this is the scale of specific volume and this is the scale of relative humidity so this was that complex chart which we didn't discuss in earlier I hope I tried to make it very clear to you so it's time to solve a practical example that how we can calculate uh, required parameters on psychometric chart 
for calculation of parameters i think we move to professional chart so in order to get the correct values in order to use psychometric chart you must have two parameters if you have two parameters then by the intersection of that two parameters you can find out all other parameters how for example your dry bulb temperature is 30 degrees centigrade your vapor temperature is 25 degrees centigrade and you need to find relative humidity specific humidity dew point temperature specific volume enthalpy so what you have to do first you need to draw your first given parameter and then second given parameter once again dry bulb temperature is 30 degree centigrade so i draw the line on 30 degree centigrade parallel to the line of dry bulb temperature remember one thing whatever parameters you draw on it should be parallel to that parameter for example wet bulb temperature 25 degree centigrade and these are the lines of wet bulb so uh, my uh, point is also on 25 so my line will be parallel to the that 25 line so then we find the point of intersection this is my point of intersection now guys what you have to do you have to draw a, a line from the point of intersection to the point of required parameter scale but your line should be parallel to the required parameter scale repeat once again whenever you want to find out a parameter on psychometric chart you need to draw a line parallel to the required parameter line till the scale of required parameter for example relative humidity my intersection point is between 60% humidity line and 70% humidity line if I draw a line parallel to these lines then it will be nearest to 70% line so my relative humidity is around 68% specific humidity or relative humidity my specific humidity lines are horizontal so when I draw a horizontal line parallel to these lines to the scale of humidity ratio so I can get specific humidity my specific humidity point is between 0 0.015 and 0 0.020 but it is nearest to 0 0.020 so my value is 0 0.018 for dew point temperature line as we have already discussed from point of intersection horizontal to the wet bulb temperature so my dew point temperature is between 20 and 25 and it's around 23.5 for specific volume my specific volume lines uh, where is my specific volume lines this is my specific volume lines 0 0.80 0 0.85 and 0.95 so i draw a line parallel to these two lines then it is fine that my uh, specific humidity line is between 0 0.85 to 0 0.90 but nearest to the 0 0.90 so my specific volume is around 0.88 meter cube per gram. Let's draw enthalpy. From point of intersection, I will draw a parallel line to enthalpy lines towards a scale. Then my line is between 60 to 80, but very nearest to 80. So my enthalpy is around 75 joule per gram. So I think guys, you people have understand uh, how to draw a psychometric chart and how to use a psychometric chart this was my uh, effort for you people so if you like this video please uh, press the bell icon and subscribe our channel and also share this videos to your colleagues thank you so much